In this video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Linux Mint release. I'm going to be demonstrating this going to Linux Mint 22, which just came out last month, from 21.3. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say this process will actually take a while. Expect it to take between one to two hours. So this is not something you want to be doing on a time crunch. All right, so now there are a couple things that we're going to want to do to prepare for the upgrade. The first step is to install any updates. To do that, just go into your update manager and install any updates. All right, now that our system is up to date, we can reboot the system and then move on to the next step. All right, so now once we're up to date and back at our desktop, the next step before we perform the upgrade is to create a snapshot just in case anything goes wrong, then we can restore our system to the state that it was in before we started the upgrade. To do this, just go into Time Shift, which is pre-installed on Linux Mint. And then we just hit Next, and then it'll estimate our system size. And then we select our snapshot location. For most of us, we'll probably only have one option, unless you wanted to do it to an external device, which if you haven't already plugged that in, then you plug it in now, and then hit refresh, and then it'll find it. But anyway, then we hit next, and then you can select your snapshot schedule here. In my case, I'm just going to leave it default. Now note that TimeShift is not a backup application, so it actually excludes your home directory from snapshots by default. However, if you want to include it, change this to include all files and then it'll include your home directory. But I'm not going to because, again, this isn't meant to be a backup application. Anyway, this is just in case something goes wrong with the upgrade process. You should already have a, a backup system in place. But anyway, I'm just going to hit Next. Okay, so now we've finished setting up Time Shift, so let's finish that. And if you've already set up time shift before, then when you open it, it'll just bring you straight to this window. But from here, we're gonna click create to create a snapshot. So now, if this is your very first snapshot, then it'll actually take a while, depending on how big your system is, like how much you have installed on it. But any subsequent snapshots will be relatively quick. But anyway, I'll just let this go and then I'll come right back. All right, now that our snapshot is created, we can close out of time shift. And now we can actually get into the upgrade process. To do this, just open up terminal and type sudo apt install mint upgrade to install the upgrade utility. And then we're going to hit yes to install that. And now once you've got the mint upgrade utility installed, you're going to run it with sudo mint upgrade. And now we're at the upgrade tool. So let's just follow the on-screen instructions. It's going to prepare for the upgrade. And if you didn't create a snapshot before doing this, then it would prompt you to do so now. But now it'll actually download the upgrade files. And then it'll basically give you a summary of the changes that the upgrade will perform. It'll give you a full list of packages that'll add and remove. You can look through this if you'd like. But we're going to click OK to start the upgrade. All right, so now that the upgrade files have been downloaded, it'll now start the actual upgrade process itself where it actually installs the upgrades. All 
All right, and now once the upgrade is done, you may have some packages that need to be downgraded. So we're gonna do that right now by just clicking fix. All right, and now that our upgrade's done, all we have to do is reboot the computer one last time. And then it will complain that the upgrade utility is still running, but as long as it says that the upgrade is successful, well, it's safe to ignore this and continue with our reboot. And now that we're back in our desktop, we can go into system settings, and then under hardware, system info, we can see that, yep, we are now on Linux Mint 22. Previously, we were on 21.3. Now, as a quick optional step, you can remove the Mint upgrade utility by doing sudo apt remove mint upgrade from terminal and yes to remove that. And then just do a sudo apt auto remove to remove any unneeded packages and yes to that. And we're done. And that's it for this video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you next time.